You know, when talking pictures first struck the movie business, panic ensued and the word spread through Hollywood that uh, nobody who'd been good on the silent screen could possibly make it in the talkies. That fallacy cost a lot of very good people their careers. It's absolute nonsense. One of them, for instance, Francis X. Bushman, who was a great silent star, didn't have a chance. Couldn't get a job for years. When I came to Hollywood, years after talkies had come in, I began to give him work in my radio shows. He became a regular radio actor. Finally, the word got around to the studios just at the end of his career that he could talk. Well, this fallacy about the inability of silent actors to, to speak also uh, cast its shadow a bit over Douglas Sr., but not for long, and he did make talking pictures, and we're going to see an example of one of the light comedies uh, that's pretty much in the style of the sort of picture he made at the beginning. This is reaching for the moon. and a bratin wall all around? Yes, sir. Kiss me all around, sir. That's fine. <clears throat> Getting worse. Better get carrying down the telephone. Don't I? I'll talk to myself this time. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir, but this Wall Street panic seems to be very serious. You won't be able to get through to Mr. Carrington until midnight. Well, midnight's all right. Yes, sir. Will you have the cocktails already? Oh, yes, sir. 
Well, you cannot cover your account. Panic is on, getting worse. They will surely sell you off, sit you off. Bah! I've used the word acrobat in talking about Doug Sr., and of course he was just that. But he was an immensely graceful one. He was also very meticulous, as you can imagine he'd have to be for all those things to work. The props had to be just right, and uh, everything was worked out in the most minute detail. Because he did his own stunts, or most of them. Well, next in our series of great films of the silent era, we're going to bring you a film by another acrobat. <laughs> and what an acrobat. What an artist. He began taking terrible falls and being thrown into the orchestra pit by his family in the old days in vaudeville, and he ended up as, well, many of us think, the greatest comedian the screen has ever known. The film, a great classic of the Civil War, the acrobat, the star and the artist, Buster Keaton. Please don't miss it.